Hey guys, welcome to Sarah's Jewelry Studio. Today I have a subscription box to show you that is the first time I've ever received it. I'm super excited to check it out. I haven't even opened the box yet and I'm really excited to show you guys what's in here. It is the Magical Mystery Bead Box and this is by Jesse James Beads. So I'm really excited for this. Um, I can't wait to see what's in here and I can't wait to show you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and cut into this box. So I got my little trusty box cutter here. Let me get this cut open. All right, Let's see what we got. Oh, look at all this goodies. Get some bubble wrap here. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a postcard. That's cool. It's called Pirate Getaway. That's, that's really awesome. And then it shows you what all is inside. So these are all the different things that are inside of this box. And then it shows you information down here about the bead box and where you can go to get it. So that's exciting. That is really cool. I really love this. That's awesome. All right, so let's see what we got inside here. Oh, so it's all like packaged. This, these are awesome. This is called Night at Port, Port Royal. And we have some, wow, some really cool things in here. Some mesh pieces we have some leaves in here some flowers wow that's that's really awesome i'm gonna open these up you can see the backs that's a that's a really cool collection here some fun colors i really love this you can see this faceted piece in here it's got it oh can you see it it's drilled at the top that's really cool i'm gonna open these mixes up at the end i just want to go through and see what else in here first this one's called The Siren Song of Rachel Wall. This is a cool, another bead mix. We got some bead caps in here. Got some really cool yellows and blues. Some lava beads in here. Some of these big hole beads. Wow, this is this is a really great box already. Just I'm already into the second piece and I'm already loving this box. So you got a nice square faceted bead here. Another faceted, like a coin pillow bead. That's Wow, these are great. These are like blown glass beads here. So you got a really nice mix in here of, of kind of everything. Oh, this is fun. This one's called Walk the Plank. Look at the parrots. Those are awesome. Some nice shiny beads here. Oh, those are really fun. Those would make some really cool earrings. Oh my gosh, I love this. Those are awesome. So next we have, it's called Queen Anne's Revenge, so it looks like two feathers, wow these would make really cool earrings also. Those would be great, look you can see the green, oh I don't know if you can see it, yeah there you go, if, you, if I hold it like this you can see the green and the feather in there, that's really cool looking. Uh, Alright, I'm going to open these up and show you, but first let's get through everything because I really want to see these outside of the plastic. So these are, oh they're little skulls! Can you see them? I'm just going to open this one up now. Oh my gosh, it's a chain of skulls. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that's really great. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this stuff. This is really exciting. That's so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at these. Some more of these big hole beads. That's really cool. This one's called The Adventures of Anne, Anne Bonnie. These are more of these big hole beads that had the, the metal. Those are fun. Oh, I love the colors on these. Look at this. So it's got like little black polka dots on there. Oh my gosh, these are so much fun. Wow, look at the faceting on that one. That's a lot of facets right there. You see that? Cool. So many little facets on there. Those are really awesome. Alright, let's see what else we got. This one's called Caribbean Escape. Oh, it's got some nice Mother of Pearl discs on here. Those are nice. I like the colors on here. A lot of fun. This nice. It's like another, like a, it's like a thicker coin bead. 
there's another word for it. I, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but that's what I call these. The runs that are round around the edges and flat in the middle. Those are really fun. I like these these square beads. There's more like that in, in this one here, but in a different color. So those are fun. Nice separators. Oh, look at the the separators are curved around the coin bead. Do you see that? Or around the the disc. That's fun. I like those. All right. Oh, I got another smaller bead container here. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, that's fun. Look at this. Check out that clasp right there. That's a nice lobster clasp right there. It's all blinged up. It's nice and chunky. Oops. And what do we got here? Is this a, this one's a magnetic clasp? Yep. Oh, geez. Nope, there it is. I didn't lose it. <laughs> there you go. Nice magnetic clasp. I really like these kind. They're fun. And then, oh, and then we have a toggle clasp here. They're just hooked together. That's fun. Oh, and this is so you can do two. It's got two holes on there. So you can do like a double strand. That's fun. I like those. Those are some cool clasps on there. What else we got here? Oh, we'll get some wire, some different colored wire. Uh, let's see. I want to see if they're memory wire or if they're just uh, like wire wrapping wire. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's not memory wire, but they are just the, like, so you can do wire wrapped, you know, stones and stuff like that. That's, I like that. It's like a rainbow color. I thought it was different colors, but it's all one and they're just, well, there is two pieces here, but all the colors are all together and it's like a rainbow effect on there. That's really cool. I've never seen wire like this before. That's fun. That's awesome. All right, and oh, we got well that already was out. We got one last piece here, and this is called tortuga, which I don't know if you guys know in Spanish, tortuga means turtle. So that does have a whole bunch of different colors on there. When each bead is multicolored, yeah. And those are just some nice, cute little rondelles. Nice faceting on there. Nice color variation, that's really cool. It's like all the same colors that are in this. That's really awesome. All right, so there you go. So these are fun, so these are glass. That's really awesome. It says it on the, on the list, glass bead strand in Tortuga. So I'm guessing Tortuga is the color, but Tortuga does mean turtle. Alrighty, so there we go. So this is the whole bead box. Let me lay, lay everything out here up here where you can see it now. So we got one, two, three strands like that. We got the length of chain. It's got the skulls on there. We got one, two, three clasps. We got the piece, two pieces of wire here. We got the cute little container here. And then we have the two feathers. And then we have these three bead mixes. So that's actually a really good deal out of this box here. So I, I really love the amount of stuff that you get in here. Now I want to check out some of these bead mixes that are all packaged up. Well, first I'm going to look at these feathers because these feathers are really awesome. I'm just going to open these up and take a look at these guys. So I want to see them in all of their glory. Oh, look at that. So they got brown and cream on the back. And then on the front, you can see that green iridescence. Oops, lost one. See that green iridescence that kind of shines in the light? But otherwise, they're... Oh, that's because there's two feathers. And they're placed on, on top of each other. Oh, that one has the green iridescence too, though. So you can see the top one has it and the back one has it. If I can get it to shine in the light the right way. Without messing it up. There you go, you can see it there. But those are really fun. Just put some ear wires on there with some, maybe a little stack of beads and then ear wires. That would be such a fun, be like a shoulder duster earring. So you'd have the 
this so that the front of the feather sticks out over your shoulder like that because you know if you make it a little longer that'd be really fun so those are awesome I love the feathers Let's check out this waffle plank I want to see these pairs outside of the plastic here All right, so here's what we got here. So we got the two sets of parrots. And then we got these shiny, the bigger green ones, and then the smaller oranges. Those are fun. And of course, you have the green parrots and then the orange parrots. So those go right along with those. So those are fun. I like the sparkle. Okay, so then next we're going to look at this night at Port Royal with flowers. Let's open this one up. Let's see what we got here. Alright, oh, we got a lot of stuff going on in here. Let's see. Oh, so these are like flower petals that are clamped in these uh, like cordons. So they're like little flowers. Those are fun. I really like these. I've never seen anything like these. That's totally fun. I really like that. I like how they're, they don't exactly match. They're very similar, but also they have nice variation to them. So they're not super matchy-matchy. Those are fun. And I like everything that comes in twos. I like to make them earrings, so <laughs> those could probably also be earrings. All right, so now these, now even though these are in a set of two, I probably would not do these in earrings just because I like the shape of them. And so if you look at them this way, you can see that they puff out. You can see that? So I definitely want to use this for a necklace. So I'll probably do like these, like this, with some beads in the middle. It's going to be my guess. I am going to come back on in a couple of weeks with a finished jewelry video out of things that I've made with this box here. So you'll definitely see how I use these into pieces. And then we got three of these green leaves. They kind of come off teal a little bit on the camera, but they are actually just a green color. Like a green leaf color. And then we did get one blue one here. They're kind of mirrored. You know what? Oh, they have... Oh my goodness. I'm so dumb. <laughs> they have the protect the protection on there. It's like a mirror. Is it like that on both sides? Oh, now I see. <laughs> so this reminds me... I, yeah, see, it's green on one side and blue on the other because it's got this protective layer on there. So it is green on one side and then like a mirror on the other side. <laughs> this reminds me of a... a an Amazon um, review that I just saw where it was a, for like a helmet and everybody was complaining because they couldn't see through the the, the like the screen for like the, the face shield that's what's called this the face shield and it was because they didn't take off the protective layer off of the front of it <laughs> Now I can see how anybody could easily do that because I just did that myself. So now you can see those. They don't have the, the protective layers on them anymore. I just took those off. This one I think still has another. Yeah, it's still got another layer on there. I probably should leave those on so, so I don't scratch them up while I'm making jewelry. But I wanted to show you. So you can see I, I started to peel the protective layer off of there. So it does. it actually has two layers on there, which I guess is what makes it blue because it has two layers on there one over the the mirror and then a second one over that so those are fun and let's see what else we got here oh these are nice I didn't realize there was two of these when I just looked at the package well they are very very crystally bling blingy look at that nice and shiny like a pink kind of almost into purple kind of color some yellow in there 
And then they're silver backed. Those are nice. Nice and very shiny. Sweet. I like those. Oh, okay. So now that I just saw that with that, oh my gosh, I want to make that an earring because that's, that's so pretty right there. It's very shiny and bold, but I love it. Doesn't that look so... Oops, stop moving around. Doesn't that look so cool? Oh my gosh, I love that. Alright, that might be earrings. <laughs> well, we'll see. That might be. Was I holding that upside down? I don't know if I was or not. There we go. And then the last two pieces that were in this bag are these. Oh, okay. So they're like a cage. And then, oops. It's like a cage bead connector if I can hold it. There you go. And then this bead in the middle, which is faceted. And that spins in the middle. So there's lots of movement in there. And it does do a full spin. Those are fun. Alright. So you got two of those. So those are a lot of fun. I really like those. Alright, so I've got one more bead mix here that we're going to look at. This one was the Siren Song of Rachel Wall. So let's see what we got here. We got all kinds of goodies. So we have these two squares that I really liked. No, these are like a teal color. That's, that's my favorite kind of color. And I thought this was a crack, but nope, that's actually a line in the bead itself. So it's just how the variation in the bead has shown up. So that's really cool. Oh, you got kind of the same thing on this one too. So those are pretty. I love the color on them. What else we got here? We have these coin beads here. I feel like there's another name for these. I'm just not coming up with it. But we're going with coin beads. We're still going with that. <laughs> Probably as soon as I finish recording, I'll come. I'll think of the other name for them. So those are fun. Nice faceting on them. So like a blue with the yellow in there, and then on the edges you can kind of see the purple. Alright, we got some yellow. These are like big, really big rondelles. These are fun. These are probably like 10 by like 14 millimeter. They're, they're quite large. That, that's just a guess. I have no idea if I'm right or not. But they are, they are larger beads. I like them though. Alright, what else we got here? Get these. Like two beads, large two beads with nice color variation on them. Actually, that that guy's a little shorter than these. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can see he's, he's just a couple couple millimeters shorter there. Yep, that's all of these kind. So you can see that has some nice color variations on those. I like them. They're fun. They they feel nice and smooth too. Like they feel like they have like a smooth like a like a coating on them. I don't know how to describe it. But it feels fun. All right. And then we have these which are like more coin beads and they they feel like they're a, a blown glass. You can hear them. These are fun colors. They, you know what? They really look like a fish, like fish shape, like the stripes on the side. So it makes me think of a little fish, especially this guy. These are fun. All right, what else we got here? We got two of these lava beads. There's probably like a good ten millimeter bead here. So we got two of those. Black lava beads, and then we got these black faceted beads here. We got two of these. 
Those are nice. Good faceted bead always brings everything out, catching the light. And we have two of these big hole beads in here. These are kind of a yellow kind of color. Some red in there. They're fun. We got two of those. And then the rest, we have some gold stuff in here. So we got some bead caps. And we have some bead cones over here. These are nice for making like uh, multi strand bracelets or um, earrings. Let's pull this out. There we go. So it can focus a little better. And then we have these bead caps that are not quite as deep. These are good for the bigger beads. I mean, you can use these on beads also to like end bracelets and stuff, but I like using them for multi strands because you can hide the, the crimp beads up in there. So there we go. So we got four of those, four of those, and eight of those. So that's a very nice set to accompany everything else that's here. So I really feel like this is a very nicely curated collection here. You can see lots of the gold tones throughout everything which go along with the gold clasps and the chain so this is this is going to be a lot of fun and then there's also some silver in here with these silver findings on there so I'm going to be making some gold pieces I'll make some silver pieces out of this box I'm really excited for this so comment on here which you think is your favorite piece out of these if there's anything you see that maybe you might want me to make a tutorial with and if I haven't um, use those beads by the time I see your comment then I will definitely try to do that if there's something you would like to see me make something with in particular um, otherwise just let me know how much you love this collection I know I love it it's very bright and colorful and beautiful lots of fun pieces that I'm really looking forward to working with so thank you guys for sticking around and watching if you want to check this box out for yourself just go right to jessejamesbeads.com and check out the magical mystery bead box. And you can also find them on social media. And make sure you do that hashtag. If you're searching for things that were made with this box or anything related to it, search on social media for that hashtag magical mystery bead box. And you'll see items that people have made with it or other unboxings or whatever. So check it out. You won't be disappointed because this collection is amazing. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.